Trial began today for Westmoreland County Sheriff Jonathan Held. The sheriff is accused of assigning his staff to do work for his re-election campaign while they were on the clock for the county. Bureau Chief Ross Gadotti is live with more. Ross. Did one of the most powerful law enforcement officials in Westmoreland County commit criminal acts or is he the victim of a political witch hunt? Two sides of the coin in this, the corruption trial of Westmoreland County Sheriff Jonathan Held. for allegedly using his staff to perform campaign activities on the clock. Sheriff Jonathan Held, not surprisingly, came under direct attack by prosecutor Bobby Jo Wagner during her very short opening arguments to the jury. Wagner telling the eight men and four women on the panel what this case is really about is his, Held's ego, and how he believes he's above the law. She went on to say he, Held, used his employees for his campaign. County personnel worked on county time. That was taxpayers' money being spent. The jurors' money. In 2015 and 2016, allegedly directed on-duty deputies to pick up merchandise, food, and money to be used for campaign events. Prosecutors also maintain held would punish those who didn't help out with punitive and unpopular duties. When it was his turn to talk, defense attorney Ryan Tutera told the jury Held never strong-armed anybody into helping with his re-election bid while on duty. Tutera telling the panel, nobody is denying workers did solicit donation. Nobody was told, threatened, or commanded. It was voluntary. Held wanted to change the culture of the department, and that's angered some in the community, chiefs of police and commissioners, because it would interfere with their fiefdoms. You must find this man not guilty. Use your filter. Common sense. All right, the defense maintains that many of the people on the prosecution's witness list have had some problems with the truth when dealing with the attorney general's office. Now, one of those individuals was at one time a pretty high-ranking officer inside the sheriff's department. He took the stand today. We'll tell you what he had to say coming up at 6. Join us then. Reporting live in Greensburg, Ross Gadotti, KDKA TV News.